Hey, this is Buzz with Pickleball Buzz. Thanks for joining me for yet again another wonderful episode here on the channel. Today we have Garrett Nealon with Athletes Prehab here talking all about how prehab, well, keeps you out of rehab. And uh, he does a fantastic job at that. He is the owner and founder of the company. And here's my great conversation with Garrett. Enjoy. Garrett, welcome to the show. Glad to have you on. It's uh, a topic near and dear to my heart because uh, we all know how important, uh, you know, getting yourself prepared to play, hydrating, getting rest and all these things that are important. And, um, you know, whether you're young or old, doesn't matter. You still have the same muscle groups uh, that uh, that are all, you know, needing attention. Uh, so, uh, again, welcome and uh, thanks for being on with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. You know, I always like to kind of ask people, you know, what they do, you know, where does it happen and why? And, um, and certainly this is a subject that's going to educate some people. So, um, you know, what had you uh, come up with this idea? And again, I have to give you kudos on the prehab thing. I think it's brilliant. But uh, talk a little bit about how you got it all started. Yeah, I, uh, I worked in a physical, physical therapy clinic for about three and a half years after I graduated uh, college. Uh, I saw the ins and outs about what was happening, how we were doing things. And I worked for a fairly sizable company on the East Coast. Um, I might as well release the name. It's called Ortho Virginia, but they have orthopedic clinics. They have physical therapy. It's a, it's a huge operation there. Um, but we were seeing you know, hundreds of patients a day. And you know, honestly, the patients weren't getting uh, the best care from us just because of time constraints. So what you were getting out of it was not going to set you set you up for success down the road. You might have got a little bit better, uh, and some people did, but I recognized that there was a big flaw in the industry, and there still is, and I'm looking to be a change in that. Um, so I made my own company called Athletes Prehab on uh, helping athletes, especially pickleball players, um, develop preventative rehab programs and training programs uh, to help keep them in the game and off or out of physical therapy. Yeah, it's important. Uh, there's nothing worse than when you could could have prevented an injury that keeps you from playing the game you love. In fact, I got friends that play every day or every other day or they do the weekend warrior thing. And um, to not be able to play is it's kind of also a mental bummer because they just sit there and go, ah, I'm like down in the dumps because they can't get out. Um, so some of the keys today that you're going to share with them are like 10 minute, uh, you know, stretches and things that can just, you know, keep them out of trouble. Um, there's longer routines, I'm sure, but at least 10 minutes of some basic stuff that you're going to share today, that's going to be really helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any kind of dynamic warm up, we tend to forget a lot about right? And before you guys even pick up a paddle or anything like that, we should be performing these small exercises, five to 10 minutes, it's not going to take a ton of time, right? But it's going to help you not only um, stay healthy, but also train your mind and your muscles uh, when you're on the court performing the same exact movements. Nice. And uh, it doesn't take a heck of a lot of time to kind of begin to work your muscles into shape. Uh, in fact, I think you and I were talking earlier about after a while, you start to build up those muscles so they're, again, strengthened and, and fortified so that they don't uh, have the likelihood of, of being strained or uh, injured in some way, correct? That's right. That's right. You want to be training the joints, training the muscles um, that you're going to be using. I mean, from the hips, the knees, the ankles, uh, and even those shoulders, you really want to be training on a daily basis uh, to accept the load or to accept the rigors that you're going to put them through, not only on the court, but once you step off the court too, whether you're carrying groceries in, doing daily tasks. I was uh, mentioning to uh, Garrett that many of the players, and probably not unlike yourself, uh, who, who play recreationally uh, during the week or even on weekends, uh, tendency is is that we go out cold and we hit a few balls and then we jump into some games. And therein lies the the opportunity to uh, be overconfident that you're ready to play and get hurt. And uh, and so I, you know, was again kind of drilling down with Garrett about 
with like a quick 10 minute thing that that is better than zero because i mean because the the aforementioned methodology just hitting a few balls and then going into some games can lead you in down a road you don't want to be at so let's talk a little bit about uh some of the uh, routines from certain muscle groups that you know that are on demand in the game. Uh, Garrett, take it away. Sure. I would recommend big muscle groups. So the big patterns that we want to train are squats, hinge, lunges, um, and warming up the ankles too. So I would recommend if you're going to do any type of exercises, do a squat. Okay. That means multiple of them, 10 to 20 of them. Okay. Lunges, whether they're forward or reverse lunges, they're the same kind of lunges, uh, you can even do lateral lunges like you are kind of right by the kitchen um, before you play 10 to 20 of those as well. Warming up the ankles. I would do heel raises or calf raises as most people call them um, to warm up those ankles, but also heel raises too, or I'm sorry, toe raises too. So on your heels, lifting up your toes, strengthening your shins and also the front side of your knee. Those are called tib raises. Um, and then some shoulder activities, shoulder circles, uh, can be a good one, whether they're big or small or a combination of both. 10 to 20 of those, those are four different things that are hitting the major muscle groups, right? The hips, the knees, uh, the ankles, and the shoulders, right? All you have to do is just four. It'll take, you know, three to five minutes if you're really, you know, starting to go through these motions. And that's just before you play. Then you hop in, grab the paddle, start off light, hit some of those same dinks up at the kitchen, and then expand back out. But that's gonna set you up for better success when you're playing. And if you do that on a daily basis before you play, like a lot of your viewers probably do, or playing multiple times a day or you know multiple times a week, things are gonna add up. Your muscles are gonna get more resilient. They're gonna get stronger. Your joints are gonna get stronger too. You're gonna be better prepared. Yep. Well, I just came up with a, a moniker for this. We're gonna call it parking lot prehab. I like and, it. <laughs> and what I think this means, because nobody wants to see, and maybe you don't want to be seen at courtside doing all these stretch moves that Garrett's talking about because you just don't want to. So when you're out in the parking lot, and you're getting your gear, your gear bag, use the car to stabilize yourself and do these stretch moves that he's suggesting for your lower body, your upper body. Take the 10 minutes out in the parking lot to do parking lot prehab and then walk onto the court comfortably as Garrett just suggested and hit a few balls and get yourself loose that way in the shoulders and in your wrist and elbow. Um, you know, but if you get in a little bit of the parking lot prehab, I think you're gonna find that it's gonna pay a dividend to you uh, going forward. And it just gets better from there, right, Garrett? I mean, it just keeps going. I love it. I love it. Parking lot prehab. That's going to be the new, uh, the new marker. I really I like guess. that. So if we can keep that trending, that's going to be good for everybody in the community. Cool. Um, so, you know, uh, the next question would be around where can people, uh, you know, kind of get connected with some of the things that you're talking about uh, with either your leadership or, or uh, on digital resources that you have like YouTube or whatnot. Talk a little bit about where they can get some of this knowledge and take it further. Yeah, I've done a ton of free work on YouTube uh, and on Facebook, Instagram, all of those kind of things. Um, there are, I'm currently doing a 30 days of pickleball prehab, so prevention exercises that people can implement on a daily basis. And I'm trying to mix it up between different joints, different muscle groups, where they can not only, you know, gain mobility, but also some strength in there too. So those are a bunch of free resources. Just head to one of the pages, uh, YouTube, it's uh, Athletes Prehab, and then on Facebook and all other other like social media sites, it's Garrett Nealon Prehab. Yep. Um, but on there, those are the free ones. If you want, to, if you want specific one-on-one -on -one online coaching, like a lot of my clients, hey, we're trying to get out of pain and uh, through the least amount of time possible so we can get back to the court. Guys, go to my website. It's at athletesprehab.com. There's an online coaching tab. There is a shop on there with, like we talked about earlier, a couple of the products um, that I recommend to my clients to stay healthy and to stay strong. You can kind of take it wherever you want to. So those are a couple different ways. Otherwise, just send me an email if none of those work for you. Athletesprehab at gmail.com. So if none of you are speed writers uh, for all the different uh, email addresses and URLs, don't worry. In the show notes below, I will include uh, how to get in contact with Garrett, how to go to his website, where to go to his shop, and where to get some of the one-on-one -on -one training that you might need uh, from him. So 
uh, just know where it says show more. You click on that and down below, I'll have all those links provided for you. So it'll be easy peasy to get a hold of him to uh, expand your knowledge. Uh, one of the things that he did touch on was a cool store that he has that has uh, some sales going on uh, for some of the items that you might find yourself using in your parking lot prehab. Uh, there are stretch bands. Uh, there is a uh, really cool foam roller that he has on sale that you could probably use at home pre and post uh, workout. Um, only thirty nine ninety five. It's a steal of a deal. Um, so um, check out his shop uh, on athletesprehab.com. Uh, and again, the link will be per, uh, there for the shop in the show notes below. Um, you know, I think we really covered the why, um, but just as a crescendo to it, uh, there's a good why to all this, right? I mean, I think I think it's obvious, but go ahead. Yeah, I mean, the why is people want to play more pickleball. People want to be healthier, not only for themselves, but also their family, their friends, kids. Um, and how can you do that? How can you live without pain? Have, I've dealt with pain personally, uh, lower back, knee, and plantar fasciitis, and that's why I specialize in those um, for over five years. And I've found that a lot of the people that I talked to, physical therapists, chiropractors, um, a lot of those people were a little unsure about what I was going through. So and that's why I decided to get certifications, get the knowledge that I needed to, to get myself out of pain. And now I'm helping other people achieve that same thing. So uh, again, people want to play more pickleball. If you want to do it without pain, you got to find somebody who is a guide, somebody who's a coach, somebody who's going to help you get out of pain. Because it is from experience, I know how hard it is to go at it alone. It seems insurmountable, unachievable. Do it together. Do it with somebody. Yep. So just to net it up, pain is a pain. Pain's pain. That's it. Pain is a pain in some part of your body. Yep. I'm not saying where. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that is uh, Garrett Nealon, uh, Athletes Prehab, uh, a wonderful guide to get connected with. Um, I did want to mention you, you were, are, you're a C, CES and a CPT. Just tell the audience quickly what those acronyms mean because I thought they're kind of, they're kind of cool. Go ahead. Yeah, so I'm a corrective exercise specialist. I specialize, specialize in corrective exercise, uh, especially for different patterns. So a lot of pickleball tennis players deal with different patterns and uh, if you don't know what's going on, I probably do. I'm also a certified personal trainer. Um, like I told you earlier, uh, I recently ran a gym with over 350 of my clients. Uh, left that to focus more on athletes prehab, to be out on the courts every day, to interact with more people, to help people from all over the United States. Great, great. Well, uh, I can't thank you enough for coming on. A, a big and, uh, an important topic uh, that keeps everybody in the game. Uh, no pun intended, but uh, we uh, do appreciate you dropping all the knowledge and um, in sharing uh, just some great tips that uh, with our parking lot prehab, I think we've hit something here, um, takes five or 10 minutes of your time and pays hours of playing time dividends. So all good stuff. Thanks again. Love it. Thanks, Wes. All right. Well, uh, stay tuned for more uh, great insights here on Pickleball Buzz, where we focus on the people, products, and players that make up this wonderful game, the fastest growing game in America. And we will see you next time. Keep in mind all the information in the show notes below. So scroll down there to get the information, get connected with wonderful people like Garrett over here. And uh, again, we will catch up with you soon. Talk to you next time. We'll